number today, so we're going to go ahead and, and get right, right to it. Um, what we'll do is I've asked coaches to, to speak briefly with the large numbers. Um, I'm going to reiterate briefly. They could go on and on and on about all of these student athletes, but um, we're going to, to try to just briefly talk about each one of them. And then um, afterwards, there will be plenty of time for pictures with friends and family members. And then uh, finally, this is a celebration, so we'll, we'll uh, cut the cake and, and everybody have a slice of cake. So you got to have cake kind of celebration. So that's kind of the agenda today. Um, I get to start out, and first of all, I, I would just, again, impressive numbers of signees for this spring signing day, impressive group of student athletes. Um, in terms of, of all the work and dedication it takes to get to, to this point, and the way you represented Dow High, I want to thank you and also congratulate you on uh, uh, getting to this point. And then just wish you the best as you, you continue your athletic and academic careers at your, your colleges. So congratulations. I get to start out. I don't usually get to do this, but this is a very unique situation, to say the least. Um, but we're happy that, that Gabe's with us today. Um, so Gabe Lasky is going to Northwood to play soccer. He's actually grew up playing um, for Sterling Heights Stevenson. Uh, he's played soccer for 10 years. Um, he came to us to Midland because of an ACL injury at his senior year. And it kind of worked out for him because he was interested in going to Northwood and, and the ACL injury kind of brought him to, to Midland. It's funny how things work out that way. Um, but he's very passionate about soccer. He has always dreamed about playing collegiate sports, and uh, we are certainly happy to have him here with us, and uh, uh, we're happy to see his dream become a reality, and so just want to say congratulations to Gabe. <laughs> Next up is Coach Tyson, um, talking about Jenna Butcher. I have the, the very big honor and privilege of introducing Jenna Butcher to all of you. Uh, there's two main things that I, I think everybody should know about Jenna if you don't know her personally. First is all of the things Jenna brings to a team that is not basketball specific. Jenna is a great leader. Jenna is a great teammate. She has consistent effort and energy in practice every single day. She is the first person to stay positive in a stressful situation. She's the first person to pick a teammate up when they are struggling in practice. She does all the things that just makes her a good person and makes her a good teammate. On the court, Jenna's best attribute is that she is just consistent. She is consistent as a shooter. She is consistent as a rebounder. It is every single game. Jenna's not going to have two points one game and 20 points the next game. It's going to be 10 to 15 every single game. So you know as a coach that you can count on Jenna's effort, you can count on Jenna's execution, and everything that she's going to bring to the team every single game. And not having to wonder how Jenna's going to play is a big thing as a coach. So uh, I'm looking forward to being able to watch Jenna just down the road. I know our team is all looking forward to it. I know she's going to do great things at MidMichigan. Congratulations. And next up is Coach Emmerich. Thank you. I'm happy to be here to uh, speak on Cole's behalf. I actually met Cole funny enough in the emergency department from Midland. Um, I'm a nurse over at the hospital. And he was there for an ankle injury. And um, we got talking, and I said, Oh, I'm a new soccer coach at Midland Dow. And they said he was going to be a, a freshman there. And actually, that's where I met him. Um, and, uh, for me and for our program, we've been blessed to have this kid. Uh, number one, from the standpoint of he is a tremendous friend, and uh, and he will just go to bat for anybody. And it's great to see the number of people that are here to support him from our program. That's great. On top of it, he comes from a great family. Um, we actually lose one of our announcers this year, which is one of those bummers. But uh, Cole has been one of those kids that uh, there's. I, I miss a lot of my kids once they, they leave the program. He will truly be one of the ones that I certainly miss from his dedication, from his work ethic, from 
some point he's not playing great, he knows that he needs to make an adjustment or he'll step right up and then he just does it. Um, and, and more importantly, he took that step that I think a lot of uh, our players, we've had many players over the years be able to go play college soccer, but you have to want it. And he still wanted to do that, he still wanted to continue playing. And if he's going out east, he's going to kill it, and we're very happy for him. So, congratulations. Opportunity to do two of these today, uh, Tyler and Thomas. Uh, as you look at them, um, I would stand here and I'd start with uh, Tyler. No, wait, Tyler's over here. That's right. <laughs> uh, I've never had a problem with uh, keep, keeping the two apart, and uh, I'll start actually with Tyler. Um, all of you, most of you, need to know that baseball is a game where failure takes part more so than being successful. You can fail seven out of 10 times and you're an all-star in the game, game of baseball. And one of the great qualities of Tyler is through all of those failures, he just keeps going, keeps going. His facial expressions never change. Uh, he may strike out looking bad, he walks back to the dugout, he hits a, hits a double, gets on second base, you wouldn't know the difference. And I think that is a key to his success is he's never here and never here. He's always just really, really level, which is huge in the game of baseball. Uh, he's done a great job here now as a senior, um, coming in and taking some of the freshmen by the hand and showing them exactly what we do in the program. Uh, just a fantastic leader, and he's going to do wonderful things at all, both as a uh, student and as an athlete. Um, Thomas, Thomas had the opportunity to jump up to the varsity as, as a sophomore. Um, during that season, we had some injuries at his position, which was a catcher, which most of you know, <laughs> that is a tough position. It's one of the hardest positions on the field. And he was coming in as the young guy on the team. We had to nickname him the pup because he was the little, little guy. And uh, he stepped right in and was the captain. As, the, as a catcher, you have to kind of control the field. And he stepped right in as a sophomore and was a very key part to us making it to the Final Four that year, his sophomore year. And uh, same thing now it, that he's in his senior year, season has just gotten started. Um, he's, he's our number one pitcher. And as soon as he's done pitching, he puts the gear on and goes back behind home plate. And uh, he's just a true warrior for us. Uh, those are some attributes that uh, I know the college coach is looking for, and you're going to be able to go and probably play any position that Coach Fritz wants you to play. All right. now, I wouldn't be able to finish this if I didn't give both of you a little bit of advice, okay? Now, Hope is going to give you X number of hours to work on your game. It's not enough. Okay? Make sure that you're doing the extra work Take that extra free time. Don't, you know, don't be running around playing with all your intramurals and all of those sort of things. Get to work. Work on your game, and that will put you on the field faster than anything else. So, good luck. Good luck to I understand how frustrating this might have been. She was moved all over the place, 
However, every instant she stepped up and delivered when it mattered most. Her selflessness was key to our team's success throughout all of her um, career and at Dow High. So Taryn has decided to go play at uh, Grace Christian College. Um, and they are lucky enough to have an athlete like Taryn who is hardworking, committed, and a team player. I wish Taryn all the best in your future playing. We'll come and watch you. And I know she'll be the difference maker um, as she was for Dow High Volleyball. So congratulations.
And now we'll move to Sid. So, Sid Thompson, um, I can stand up here and I can talk stats. Uh, I can talk about all the things that she brought to the team, the medals she won, the PRs she got. Um, and those are all really impressive feats, for sure. Um, and I will mention some of those in a minute. But I think more than anything else for Sid, it was learning how to be a successful runner and learning how um, to take her talent but still love the sport of running. Um, so over the past three years, she has grown in her persistence, in her passion, and in her strength um, as a runner and as a person. Um, when Sid started with us, she had just taken a year off um, as a result of some injuries and some just feeling frustrated about running. Um, and she wasn't really sure she wanted to run cross country. Um, but somehow, we got her, um, luckily. And she put in a lot of effort, and it wasn't easy. And injuries and other things got in the way, and it was frustrating. Um, but Sid never gave up. And she always held on to what she had. Um, and I think that with her goals in mind, the unfailing support from her family and her teammates, she kept pushing forward. She figured out how to take care of herself and be a healthy runner. She figured out how to find that, sorry, <laughs> find that passion again. Um, and so for her senior year, she had a fully successful, healthy season, uh, which is a goal that we've had for a long time. Uh, so sorry. I'm just so proud of the effort and the progress that she's made in those three years as a runner with us. Um, and so before I finish, I want to just point out some of the things that she did accomplish this year. She was one of our team captains as well. She was on the second um, team All-State for SBL. She was the SBL Academic All-State. She earned a varsity letter every year she ran with us. Um, and this year she was the Girls SBL Athlete of the Year as well. I'm proud of you, Sid.
So Coach Chili is uh, in Florida right now. He sent us something to write. I, I don't do impersonations, so I'm not a, a, a good at impersonating Coach Chili. But um, our assistant coach, Coach Mallory, is here. So I'm going to turn it over to her. Thank you. So I will be talking about Ella and Mia today. So first I'll start talking about Ella. So I first wanted to congratulate Ella on such an outstanding four years of high school swimming and being the ultimate student athlete. Ella is one of the top three swimmers ever to swim on the Dow High Girls Swim Team. She has left her legacy for all of her teammates and those to come, helping them strive for that Dow High Girls Swim Team excellence in and out of the water. Ella has been a state champion twice in the 100 freestyle and the 400 freestyle relay. Her 100 freestyle time is the seventh fastest time in the history of MHSA girl swimming. She holds several pool and swim meet records throughout the state, including eight Dow High pool records and seven Dow High varsity records. Ella, we both know how hard you have worked and the many things you have sacrificed to attain your goal of swimming at the college level. Waking up at 4.30 in the morning for practices, traveling on weekends to go to swim meets, putting in 14 to 18 hours per week of swimming and dry land, and worst of all, putting up with Chili's music at practice. <laughs> On top of this, all the hours of studying for your classes to carry an A average. Ella, you have been one of our team leaders even before becoming a team captain by leading by example at practice and at swim meets. You have grown so much since you walked on the pool deck as a 12-year-old, and I believe you are the best all-around high school freestyler in the state. But what is even more remarkable is you have grown into a great student athlete and a wonderful young lady. Ella, congratulations on picking MIT. I believe it is the perfect fit for you. As well as MIT, I look forward to seeing what the future holds for you, and I hope nothing but the best. This is from Chili and I. And remember, go Chargers and go Engineers. <laughs> and then next, I'll be speaking about Mia. So Mia, congratulations on a wonderful four years of Dow High Girl Swimming. The coaches are so proud of you for choosing to swim in college at Aquinas. We know you will love it, and Aquinas is so lucky to have you. Mia has swam many different events in the past four years, but by her senior year, she was swimming the 50 freestyle and the 100 breaststroke. This past season, Mia was so good on the pool deck for her entire team. At practice and swim meet, she showed everyone that swimming was fun, and I believe her positive attitude helped many of her teammates continue to strive for those goals. We sometimes forget as coaches and as athletes that there are many ways to help your team and that it is not just by being the best athlete. I know our team can never have enough Mia's around. Mia's passion for the sport of swimming has helped her realize that she could continue to swim even at the college level. Sports can help people in many ways and Mia did take full advantage of the sport of swimming. She also gave back to swimming, her coaches and her teammates with her smile and positive attitude. We thank you for that Mia. Mia, congratulations on picking Aquinas College. Remember that your smile is contagious. I look forward to seeing what the future holds for you, and I hope for nothing but the best. And this is also from Chile, and I just remember, go Chargers and go Saints. Uh, special thanks to all of our coaches. Let's give it up for our coaches. So to, to wrap things up, I would like the families to come up. I would like to get one family picture. I'll start down with Gabe down there. And uh, I'd like to get one family picture. Once I'm done, feel free if you're here to, to see that signee and, and take pictures with friends and teammates and, and family members. Um, go ahead and start doing that after I kind of work my way down the line. And, and I'll get one picture of the family. And then uh, whenever you're ready to with done with pictures. Um, I know Vicki and Beth are here to help you with the cakes and, and there's waters over there and just go ahead and dig in. Thank you for, for coming.